All right, hey Leo, let's get to your March 20 to 31st 2020 reading. Man, I don't know what the fuck I'm even saying. Let's go do it. I'm gonna grab your Celtic Cross and clarifiers and some minor arcana advice. Let's see what's going on for my Leo. Right now, I'm seeing that you can't come to a decision right now, Leo. I'm seeing that you're frozen by some kind of fear. You might be arguing within yourself about your future, your next step. Trying your best to focus on work in the recent past, you were feeling single and unbothered. But something came up concerning a court decision, a marriage, something that may have to do with a government place like the DMV or the courts, uh, or maybe just marriage in general, right? The Hierophant crossing the full reverse. The main focus on your mind right now is work, Queen of Swords. You're being unapologetically focused on your professional success, your image, your own uh, peace your intellectual property, everything. Like your ownership over it. Like you're owning yourself and that's your main focus. And, <laughs> and 10 of Pentacles down here, like double money, like double double uh, work energy here, man. I'm seeing that uh, you're really focused about that with the 10 of Pentacles on, as your new focus. On the bottom of the deck, you got the Judgment, the Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You were really bugged out about something. Something's probably still having you anxious, but your intention is to pray on it and move forward toward a better day. You're also making progress in doing that, but it seems like you're still waiting for something. What you're hoping to get out of the future is that you're waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe you're waiting back for some messages or something like that. But how you feel about yourself is that you can't seem to leave uh, a past situation, an emotionally fulfilling situation. Um, how people are seeing you right now is that you might be being sneaky or hiding. Maybe you're running around. No one knows what you're doing, really. No one knows what you're up to. So they just assume that uh, maybe you're up to no good, right? But whatever you're doing, it, it makes it look like that also, right? Whatever. And your advice is to consider the option you like the most. Come out of this decision. There's a decision you have to make about something. And it looks like you're gonna make the right one because in your outcome is the Two of Cups. Love found somehow. All right, let's clarify these. I need to know the story better so I can help you guys out better. What is this? Doesn't really look like you guys need help, honestly. You're gonna figure it out. It looks like you're fighting yourself about this. The moon over the Hierophant. Okay. Eight of Wands over the Fool Reverse. You have so many messages and options you don't even know which one to choose. Or it may be that uh, maybe things are getting really heated in your relationship now, but Maybe you're confused about taking the next step. Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, with the moon over the Hierophant. I'm seeing like you are still conflicted about how you feel about this. Maybe you're still looking for some kind of answers uh, or some emotional fulfillment from it. Ten of Wands crossing the Queen of Swords. You're not giving up on a certain burden. Something that you felt like maybe you were the burden of it, but you're trying to distance yourself from some kind of investment with work. It looks like that, maybe. I'm getting the, the image of that. You uh, don't want to give up though on it, whatever it is. The moon clarifying the heaven. Clarify the moon a little bit. I know the moon is mysterious, but yo, okay. You, <laughs> four of wands. You want, you want the marriage, then you don't want the marriage. Then you want the marriage, then you don't want the marriage. <laughs> but you really want you don't know if it's with them, with this Taurus, but you really want this. You want it to be, oh, it's a stable relationship that looks good on the outside. That's what you're wanting, apparently. Clarify this Eight of Wands. What is this Eight of Wands over this? 
cool energy. Okay. Yeah, some cycle ended, and you're coming out of hiding about something. Some kind of healing and hiding. You're coming out of hiding. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Your abundant attitude is going to bring in this new partner. Some kind of fulfillment. I'm seeing a lot of tens here. So many things. Oh, every ten is here. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Everything, every ten is here. You're so done with your old life. You're so done with it. So done with it, Leo. So done in every way. Financially, spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, you're freaking done, right? Can I find the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor? Is there an Aries on your mind? Uh, it could be someone born in April, or it just could just be somebody of a high position, high status, maybe, you know, great jobs. They may be a business owner, a, a CEO in their business. They could be, you know, lawyers, doctors, uh, politician. Who knows, man? Some kind of high frequency, high vibration energy. A guy that doesn't play around, right? Knows what they want. Has a hold over what they want already. The king of kings, right? Clarify the eight of cups in reverse. King of wands. It's that Aries that you can't leave. And there is a tower. And that is why you're waiting on something. The tower moment brought the three of wands. I need more of that. More for that. Yeah, you realize... Yeah, you realize someone won't take immature messaging. And you don't want any drama. You realize they don't want drama. What else? Clarify. Five of wands. Reverse. Yeah, you want to give up control issues. And start over with them. Four of, one, four of pentacles reverse. Three of pentacles upright. Clarify the seven of swords. Why is my Libra... Why are people looking at my Libra as a bad guy? Because... They're throwing tiny pentacles at you, slow energy, and you're moving fast away from it, right? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because you're rejecting their offers. So they're thinking you have something to hide. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles reverse. The chariot. Yeah, the chariot reverse. You told you rejected them, so now they're getting mad at you. Clarify the chariot. You got options. Seven of Cups. Or maybe you're confused. Or maybe you just have too much going on in your life right now. Because, you know, you could just be busy with work, finding a new job at the same time that you're working. You could just be talking to many people, trying to find any opportunity, just any direction to take your life in, right? It doesn't have to be people, right? Cash or Scorpio Pisces energy. Okay, now let's get to these last two cards right there. Clarify the Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. Nine of Cups over the Two of Cups. Judgment, Strength, and the Sun over the Two of Wands. Okay, this decision you have to make has to do with details. You can't make the dis this decision. This decision is stuck because you're unclear about what can happen. You don't really see a future or hope right now. Y you've been... Your brain is fumbled. Like, you don't feel strong. You're, you're in a very weak place right now, Leo. It's probably because you're also alone, but you know what you want in some ways. And you feel like God's not really helping you with this decision making forward. But the thing is about judgment is this is your decision to make. You can't just wait for an option and you can't just be busy in work or something. Nine of cups over the two of cups. And remember, in your recent past was nine of pentacles. What does that mean? Because your outcome for nine of pentacles was ten of cups. Energy I'm getting here is You've lost your balance. You need to get this back. You need to get this balance back to unlock this. You can get it. Let's see. Right? Not from here. Well, yeah, sure. One more. One more card for this. Clarify the Nine of Cups over the Two of Cups. How can my Leo find this true love that they seek? Four of Cups reversed. It's an option that you've been ignoring. Two of Swords on the bottom, the Star and Queen of Cups. It's this person, possibly your ex, who made you feel less heartbroken and you're ignoring them. Clarify the end. <laughs> Oops. Advice, avoid, except, sorry about that, Leo. Advice. Four of Cups. Four of Cups and Four of Cups. Make sure you're not just rejecting them out of pure ego or pure logic. Like, 
like don't be too e egotistic about it don't be too logical don't be too emotional either be balanced if one if it's if an argument is one more than the other it's manipulation right so be fair because it seems like your two of cups is hiding behind this thing you're disinterested in but you know you can't get rid of them you're interested definitely avoid abandonment if there's communication, don't turn it into a power struggle, man. Five of Pentacles. Do you really want to feel ignored? Like, don't. If you don't want to feel ignored, don't ignore somebody else. And accept. Six of Swords. Accept that things getting better is a gradual process. You really have to want that kind of thing. All right, Leo. Take care. Love you. Bye.